Hey, great friends. Welcome to the first lesson in week 10. We are going to be looking at the special angles in trigonometry. And once you know the special angles, it's certain questions become so much easier to handle. So let's go through it. The first special triangle that we're going to be looking at is an equilateral triangle or an equiangular triangle, which is one that looks like this, where we've got this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. And therefore, we know that all these angles, because all three have to add up to 180 degrees, but all three are equal, therefore each angle is 60 degrees. So that is a special triangle. So what they've done with the special triangle is they went along and they split the special triangle in half, right? And they drew it like this. So this angle here is going to be 60 degrees. This angle, because it's half of your 60 degrees, because I split it down the middle, is going to be 30 degrees, right? And this is 90 degrees. Why? Because by design, we've just dropped the perpendicular down here, okay? Now, if we say that this side is 2, then because this is equilateral triangle, this is also going to be 2, and this is also going to be 2, which means if we transfer this to this triangle here, this is 2, this here is basically half of 2, right? If the whole of this is 2, and that's half of it, and that's half of it, then that becomes 1. And we can get this opposite side, or this side here, by using Pythagoras. So if we call this A, B, C, we can say A, B is equal to the square root of A, C squared minus B, C squared, which is the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 1, which is going to be root 3. So that there is root 3. So that there is a special triangle. It is a 30-60 triangle. And the way we use it is this. If say I say I want sine of 60 degrees, sine of 60 degrees is opposite, the opposite side, over the hypotenuse. So therefore, sine 60 is just root 3 over 2. So basically, it's a shortcut triangle. So what we do, and we're going to be using this often, is the first thing you do is trig. What's the first thing you do? You write Sokotoa. The second thing you do is you draw this special triangle, which is 2, 1, and root 3. Let's look at another one. This one is now 30 degrees. Okay, so again, this is 2, and this is 1, and that there is your 90. That again is your 60 degrees. And this is 30 degrees. And by Pythagoras, we know that this is root 3. So if I say to you, I want cos of 30 degrees, cos of 30 degrees is going to be the adjacent side. We know that if we use Sokotoa, cos is adjacent of our partners, which is root 3 over 2. So it's root 3 over 2. At about tan of 30 degrees. 30 degrees, Sokoto, Toa is opposite over adjacent. So it's opposite over adjacent of your 30 degrees. So it's going to be 1 over root 3. And finally, let's do sine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees is just what? It's opposite over hypotenuse. So this time it is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So therefore, sine 30 is a half. Nice and easy, right? Let's now look at the 45 degree angle. If we look at this triangle, we know that that is 90 degrees, and they've said, okay, that this is 45 degrees, and that is 45 degrees. So if that's 45 and that's 45, this is obviously an isosceles triangle. So if I let this be 1 and this be 1, then we can get this side by using Pythagoras. So again, if I say A, B, C, I can say AC squared is equal to, sorry, AC squared, AC is equal to the square root of AB squared plus AC squared, I mean BC squared, which is going to be the square root of 1 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. So therefore, that 
there is our other special triangle. So we only use two special triangles. We use the 30-60 triangle and the 45-45. And the way we use this again is we go sine of 45 degrees is equal to opposite of hypotenuse. And the nice thing with this is it doesn't matter which 45 we choose because they're both there. So if I use this one, this is the opposite. That's the hypotenuse. So it's going to be 1 over root 2. So now let's look at some examples. The first thing you do when it says, look, after use of a calculator, you know that you're going to have to use your special triangles. So the first thing I do is I draw my triangles. And I go 45, and it's 1, 1, root 2. And grade 10s, that is something that is worthwhile learning. It really is. So that's 60, 30, this is 2, 1, root 3. So now let's look at it, and they've asked us to prove this. So they go tan 45 minus tan 30. So tan 45, if we look at Sakatoa, Sakatoa, tan is opposite over adjacent. So it becomes opposite, if we use this angle here, which is one we're looking at, opposite over adjacent is just 1, because it's 1 divided by 1, minus sine 30, sine is opposite, over our path news, so it's going to be 1 over 2, so it's 1 over 2, so the answer is just a half. See, it's not so difficult. Now let's look at this one. Without the use of a calculator, again, as soon as you, you see the word without the use, without a calculator, you know the chances are you're going to be using your special triangles, so we immediately draw them. So when you're doing a test on this or an exam, I would do, again, and I'm seeing that I'm only going to be using 60 and 30. 60, 30, I would immediately write down Sokotoa, and then I would draw my special triangles. Right, now it says 4 times 30 minus 1. So that means 4 times by times 30. So we've got Sokotoa. Sokotoa. Tan of 30 is opposite over adjacent. So here is our 30 degrees. The opposite is 1. And the adjacent is root 3. So it's going to be 4 is going to be 1 over root 3. Bracket minus 1. So it becomes 4 over root 3 minus 1. And you just leave it like that. If you really want to, you could make a common denominator of root 3. Go to root 3 goes into root 2 once, 1 times 4 is 4. It's going to apply it 1 over here, so it becomes minus root 3. And that's your final answer. That's it. Okay, so not too difficult here. And that's it, grade 10. That is the basis of using your special triangles. Please go learn your special triangle, go practice your lots of examples, and then do the assessments at the end of the section. Thank you, grade 10. Have a lovely day.